Greetings, I'm Jay Michaels. I've been a member of the entertainment industry for over 30 years. I've directed, I've produced, I've written, I've performed, I've designed even for film, TV, and live theater. I also have a boutique PR firm that caters exclusively to independent artists in TV, film, and theater, and also literary work. And now I even teach communications and performing arts on the university level. I know nothing else. I share my uh, office with you instead of some background because the thing you should know about me is that on one level, I never grew up. Oh yes, my intelligence is, is, is compensatory to someone of my years. But deep down on so many levels, I'm still a 12 year old boy. I collect comic books. I watch horror movies. I actually notate horror movies and have done books on horror movies. Um, I've even hosted television programs dealing with horror movies and memorabilia of that kind. This is why I think I'd be really good as the host. Uh, I've spent my life following the weird and eerie and shocking on film. So my sense of wonder is now tingling at the thought of seeing the weird and the shocking. That's real. So the precursor to toilet paper. Well, when I read that, I thought it's more the precursor to the bidet, considering that wet element of it. Humankind is incredible. Uh, yes, we have the ability to innovate, to invent, but we also have the ability to discard afterwards. That's what makes it so fascinating. I won't say amazing, I'll say fascinating. Um, today we are shocked at such procedures, but then the community probably found it brilliant until something better came along. Um, I'm, I'm always reminded of an expression I heard years ago. Uh, at the dawn of the automobile, there was someone around who was selling the best buggy whip. I think you hit it on the head also when you're talking about storytelling. Um, the contribution I would give to this is an air of eerie, of, 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 of the unknown, if you will. Uh, if you make the series too serious, then people are repulsed by some of the items because they're just looking at the facts and it might draw them away. And if you make it too comical, well, then, then you're poking fun at them and the concept of learning is, is negated. Um, what you need is someone who'll chill the audience, shock the audience, amuse the audience, and entice the audience. Jack Palance, when he did Ripley's Believe It or Not, not the versions afterwards, but Jack Palance's, because there was that face and he stood there and looked right into the camera after the weirdest things and go, believe it or not. And you were chilled, but you were fascinated. Now the premise to this, um, it really does excite me. Uh, and the irony of it is we do the same thing today still. Every day there's a new diet plan, there's a new style, there's a new, there's a new mode of entertainment. Um, I think this series on myriad levels has the capacity to, yes, entertain and inform for sure, but also to educate. Uh, these inventions and the evolving of them uh, show our capacity as a people. It shows our brilliance and, and what we will do um, if the series is done well. You ask about my curiosity, that was a particular question. Well, again, I'm going to reiterate. I have the mind of a professor. Yes, I do, and I'm proud of it. But I also have the soul of a 12-year-old. Yes, I do, and I'm proud of that too. When you hand me one of these things to talk about, I am going to be fascinated, genuinely. I'm going to want to learn more, and I'm going to listen intently to everything. When your audience sees that your host is so fascinated, it'll give them permission to do the same. Okay, so you gave me a sample read. Okay, here we go. Would you eat meat that, wait for it, was soaked in urine? Well, long before the refrigerator was invented, that's exactly how the Vikings kept their food from spoiling. Sounds gross.
but actually, ooh, it worked. Here's how. Before I sign off, I want to say thank you. I know how difficult it is to get something like this going. I know how many hours you're working. I know how many people you're seeing. And, and I know how much time it takes. And I wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for giving me this opportunity to, 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 to connect with you. If there's anything else you would like on the project, please feel free to let me know. I would love to be involved. You can reach me at 646-338-5472 or at jmichaels1, J-A-Y-M-I-C-H-A-E-L-S, the number one at gmail.com. Seriously, thank you so much and uh, best of luck. It sounds really fascinating. <laughs>